All right, this is a video to go through um, the, probably the best way to do the equation editor assignment in MOM. Um, so I just wanted you to get familiar with how you type things in the equation editor so that you can get extra credit for um, helping your peers um, in the forums. And it also helps with entering your answers in uh, MOM because um, you use the same symbols. So what I would do is um, select and copy um, all of the questions. And then we're going to click on using the equation editor. And we're going to click on add new thread. In the subject you can put um, your name, but I'm just going to put sample because I'm doing a, a video for you. And then I'm going to paste all of the questions. And then I'm going to follow the instructions. So it says to click on this symbol above and type the following between the two little lines. So um, I'm going to go ahead and click on that symbol right here. And I'm going to start typing what it says to type. Now I can tell you if you try to copy and paste it instead of typing it, it's not going to come out for you. Um, so you have to just type it. All right, so I'm going to type it in. Um, and then I'm going to hit enter. And then it's going to clean it up and make it nice for me. So now that I've done that one, I'm going to select it and delete it um, and go to the next one. What does the square, or what does SQRT do? Um, that makes a square root. And you don't need to leave the question in. In fact, I prefer that you don't. So highlight that and delete it. Um, what does the little caret symbol do? That makes an exponent. Show what it looks like if you don't include the parentheses around x plus 7. Um, so if you go back to this, um, we want to retype all that but without these parentheses. So we're going to grab our little equation editor again and we're going to type sqrt x minus 5 plus x to the caret 6 minus x plus 7 to over 4. All right, hit enter. Um, so we can delete this because we put it in now. And this is what it looks like. And we can see what happens is it changed the way it looks. It went from x plus 7 all divided by 4 to just x plus 7 divided by 4. And it says click that little symbol again and we're going to type what it says to type. So we need x greater than equal to 4. Hit enter. What did that greater than equal to do? It makes it greater than or equal to. Um, or you could say it combines the two symbols into one. Sometimes you need to search for a special symbol. So if you click on uh, the little E without the plus sign, um, you get all the special math symbols. So um, it wants us to find, oh, I forgot now, I gotta go back. It wants us to find, oh, the nth root of n, okay. So that one is right here. I'm gonna click on it and it puts it in. Um, so I'm gonna erase the, the problem now because we, we put it in. And uh, it says use the skills you've learned in one through seven to get this whole expression. Um, so we're gonna need our special symbol. And to get to the fifth root, we're gonna use that nth root, but we're gonna change the n to a five. And then we're gonna put, it's gonna be minus x to the fourth power plus seven. All right. So we'll get rid of that. Oh, actually, okay, the, um, the four and the seven are in parentheses, so we need to change that. So four plus seven in parentheses. Did you see that the four and the seven are all part of the exponent? And then we'll erase that. And, um, it's asking us to graph. So we need the little graph tool and it's 2x plus 3. So under f of x we want to put 2x plus 3 and you need to give it some parameters. So from negative 10 to 10, 
add graph, insert, that's done. So just erase this text here. And if you have any questions on how to use the equation editor, you can put them here. And we're just going to post thread. And that's it.